Execute Order 66. Yes, sir, my lord. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Today, with another toy review of Clone Commander Green. I was so happy to get this one. This is my favorite clone trooper out of all of them. I love them. Uh, and this one in Cody. And of course, I do love Rex, but like, I do love everyone. But this has always been my favorite ever since I saw Revenge of the Sith. And they had, like, I think one of the coolest deaths out of all the clones when Yoda just, like, decapitates them, flips backwards. It was a very cool scene on the Kashyyyk, but this is, I'm very happy I got this one because I didn't see this one for a long time. This one is very cool, so I'm happy I got this one, so let's open this one. I really hope to see them more back, maybe in the Bad Batch or another show, because those are very cool. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> yes! Yes, okay, so we got the binoculars, as you can see. Oh, oh yes, yes. Of course we get that typical gun, standard gun like an always, sir. Then we get the rifle, or uh, I don't know what the hell. Yeah, damn. Who the hell packed it? We got that big ass rifle, <laughs> what they always come with. And now the thing itself. Bye bye. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this figure is nice. This figure is very nice. I'm happy I got two of them. Like I said, got a, ooh, got another one right here. But uh, this this figure is very cool. I love the camouflage. I love the paint job. I love the little antenna in the back. Oh, this figure is very cool. This figure is very cool. Now, execute order sixty six. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. <laughs> I love this. I love this figure. So here we have the Commander Gree figure, which looks very cool, very awesome. Very happy with this one. Now the mobility of the figure is actually very good, considering to be an older Black Series figure, like one of the early ones. Like you said, you got all around movement. The shoulder, you cannot move it that much up because of the shoulder pad that we have right here. We got double jointed elbows, but because of the rubber here, it kind of blocks it away. So <laughs> the mobility could have been better, but it seems like one of the earlier models. You do got double jointed knees, though those are pretty nice. And when it comes to leg movement, it's pretty decent side to side like you can really tell it's a different it's an earlier model because the mobility like the upper torso is some mobility not pretty much but it's like he has a lot of pads around it and i feel like that's what get in the way when it comes to the head moving you can move the head side to side that's about it <laughs> damn i was really hoping a little bit more but like i said you got ankle pivot which actually pretty nice double jointed knees but other than that the figure is actually pretty cool it looks pretty cool i wish we would get another re-release of this figure with better mobility but this film mobility is okay like for this figure what probably came out what 2015 16 probably probably like in the third wave of black series looks very cool though it looks very cool looks very awesome just you have to work a little when you want to get the mobility around now he comes with a standard blaster like every stormtrooper and everybody gets he gets his long range blaster or i don't know the big gun basically Basically, which he comes and he comes with his binoculars as we all know which he always likes to look around like these are one of my favorite clone troopers out of the entire series I love them especially like in Revenge of the Sith when they are about to kill Yoda and Yoda like decapitates two of them which is a very cool scene I really like this one and the figure overall is a very good figure the paint job the weathering is done very nicely on this figure um, the paint job is like really great looking you got some battle damage not all the way clean it looked like it been through something which just looks very cool
let's see some comparisons. So here we have him next to the Mandalorian Black Series figure and the uh, Bo-Katan. Here we have him with the Mandalorian Bo-Katan figure. As far as height comparison, it's very, very accurate, I must say, for for the other ones. But let's see how it compares to more Clone Wars, since it's more that era. Here we have him with Mace Windu and Asas Ventress. And the height comparison is actually good. You can see Asas Ventress being shorter than him. Mace Windu actually being the same height, which is accurate into the movies. Here we have him to the next Camino Clone Trooper and Padme. I have a, pay, I have a custom paint job done on this figure, though. But uh, it's... I can, I'm very happy with this figure because sometimes I always test them with a lot of figures to see is the height comparison accurate like let's see him next to a Wookiee next to Chewie and yeah that's pretty accurate like in the movie we see let's see him next to Darth Vader and again accurate as hell that's what I love about these figures and it looks very cool the height comparison between the, all these figures let's see with some different figures this is some with the Joker DC icon figure and like I said, the DC icon figures work very well with the Black Series figures if you want to do some fun crossover pictures for photography. Here we have with the DC icon Green Lantern figure, which also looks very good. And the height comparison also. And like, for a change for some different franchise, here's the Dragon Star's Goku Battle Damage. And it scales pretty well with those too. So you can do some fun Dragon Ball Star Wars crossover if you want to. And here's with the Boba Fett Black Series orange card and I really like this figure. This figure is very cool. It's cool. The mobility is a little bit so-so, but the paint job is good. It looks very nice. Like when you have him in the woods taking photography or something, it's a very great figure looking very cool. So thanks everybody for watching this. Always see you next time.